There's something right outside of us to be scratching. Do you hear that? We are at our very, very first SUV camping spot. Right behind us, this spot is a dispersed camping spot, which means it's absolutely free. This is what you can do in Colorado. Put in some research and you can find some amazing dispersed camping like this. This is our view, you guys. I've got to give you a tour of our campsite. I'm so excited. We found a gem. <laughs> Check out these views. Here's our camp spot. Right here in the mountains with beautiful pine trees surrounding us. 100% free dispersed camping in Colorado. The Jeep is all set up for our cozy little camp out. We got our cooler full of goodies. Yetis are considered bear proof coolers. Over here, we're gonna be putting a lock on it. When we're done using it, we're gonna lock it up and it's 100% bear proof and locked completely no bears getting into our yeti i just created a vlog on our diy camping shower and toilet system and our pop-up pod so if you haven't watched that i go through all the details of how that works but here it is it's all set up anchor down and we're set we are set up with no amenities but we made our own amenities there's our toilet, our little shower system, ready to go. There are already some fire pits here, and the best part about this campsite, you guys, check this. So hold on, just, just walking a little bit from our side here. Look at these views! There it is, you guys. From our campsite, there's this little trail that goes back into the forest, so we're definitely gonna have to go check that out. And then right down there, there's a little creek that's running, and we can hear it from our campsite. Like, my first time just first camping, and it's like so perfect. It is 54 degrees out right now here in the mountains. It's beautiful. There's a little bit of clouds coming in and out. It sprinkles just like the tiniest bit and then it like goes away. So dispersed camping was something like we didn't know anything about um, before we moved to Colorado. We'd go on like back roads and we'd seen people just like setting up camp and we kind of like started learning more about it and like, yes, like we need to do that. And the thing about dispersed camping is you can't really have like big RVs. You can, I shouldn't say that, you can, it just depends on where you're going. But I can tell you where we're at right now, there's no way you could get an RV where we're at right now. So you need a four by four or a tenting. And so that's why we converted our SUV into a camper because we have our four by four. And I'm not a tent girl, but like a bed in the back of our SUV is like perfect for us. As long as you can live without amenities, this is how you should camp because this is amazing! You're not gonna find this at a campground, you guys. And it's free, like, that's the best part about this. So a lot of national forests and BLM land in Colorado, it's all where you can camp for free. You wanna make sure you take over another spot, not really create your own camping spot. So there's tons of areas on forest roads and whatnot where you can do this type of camping. And if you missed my vlog where we built our platform bed and converted our SUV into a camper, um, I have an entire vlog on how I went through that whole process, so definitely go check that out. It's starting to get a little chilly. I think I got a cute blank. <laughs> oh! 
So I had a few people DM me on Instagram asking me what I'm going to do for all the windows in our Jeep for privacy at night for sleeping or whatever, just privacy in general. Super, super easy solution to that. WeatherTech.com has entire kits of custom sunshades for every type of vehicle. So I literally went to the website, plugged in our Jeep's details, and you can get an entire pack of sunshades for every single window in the Jeep. And they're custom fit. You just pop them in and that's it. Cool thing about WeatherTech's sunshades are you have this reflective side on one side and then you have a black on the other. So the difference between the two is if you're trying to keep your vehicle warm, you put the black facing out. If you turn it around and put the reflective side out, that's going to keep your vehicle cool because this reflects the sun. This is the reflector. So each sunshade is labeled. So on the bottom here it says, you know, passenger rear and it just pops in. So I'll show you how that works. All right. So this is for the front window. And we want the black staying out since we're in the mountains. It's going to get chilly tonight. So just put it in here. there it is it's it literally is. pops right into place like right into the grooves of windows it's like perfect there's not an inch a gap anywhere it's perfectly covered so highly recommend weather tech because they're all customized to your view i think the whole set for our entire jeep was 160 dollars, so it's a slight investment but you have to remember what you're using them for um so if you want that privacy and it to work well that's part of it all three of these windows have weather tech in them there is no peeping going on here. No peeping toms. <laughs> no peeping toms in the mountains. We have a moonroof on our Jeep. And one thing we really want to do is keep that open at night and like watch the stars. However, we wanted to make sure there wasn't going to be an issue with bugs flying in in the middle of the night. Um, so found a really amazing thing on Amazon. So on Amazon, I found a moonroof bug net it has magnets around the entire edge of this netting so vehicles are magnetic so all you do is put this up on top of your moonroof and it magnetifies or whatever right to the top of your vehicle so the moonroof um, portion that's open is just this section the entire thing is see-through but this is the only portion that opens so this guy just goes on like this All right, you guys, so there it is. Magnets all the way around. This is a window though, so this doesn't magnetize, but you have a magnet all the way around. So there, now we're bug proof on the top. <laughs> it is time and we're officially using the uh, DIY portable camp potty. <laughs> Well, that was easy as can be. Literally, it's like you're sitting on a toilet and anywhere. Super nice. If you're looking for a DIY portable toilet, highly recommend. Go watch my vlog. Oh, right behind us, it's thundering really loud. But right here, it's blue sky. Another reason why we sleep in a Jeep, because if there's pop-up storms, we have a solid, secure home to crawl into. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, it's echoing. So one thing I have truly loved is thunderstorms in the mountains. It's so loud and it cracks and it like echoes throughout, like it's, it's exhilarating, exhilarating. It's still thundering, but the sun, is out look at those blue skies and it just instantly warms you
Well, we have a visitors as soon as we started the bacon. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. What are you doing up there? Yeah. He smells the bacon. <laughs> There's two of them. There's a pair. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> SUV camping meal. If you haven't figured it out already, it's BLTs. For dishware for camping, I found these plate kind of bowls at Target. They were like four bucks each and I love the color. They're like terracotta looking. I figured this is like the perfect mix of having to bring like plates and bowls. It does the same thing. It's a plate and a nice bowl. So it's perfect. I haven't talked about yet are our camping chairs and this table um so these were camping chairs that are collapsed down into like a really small little carrier got this pair on amazon and they're so comfortable and i love that they collapse down so so small camping in an suv you want everything to like you know minimize apps real small and then this little table collapses and we found this at walmart actually so um this is like a perfect fit for the suv we're gonna just go for a little walk here on the road Little evening walk. Watch the sunset behind the mountain. Our Jeep is literally like right after this like little corner. And right on this side, as we're walking, there's a sign, Alpine Tundra ahead. Wow. We've walked like not that far. This is amazing. Like, I'm not even kidding. Just right down there is our vehicle. Wow, the stream, can you hear it? That's that little creek we were listening to. There's another dispersed camping spot. And then up here, there's another one. These are all for you guys. Like, look at this. I just, it blows my mind. The sun has officially set here in the mountains, even though there's still like a lot of daylight. It's only six o'clock. It's just because we're in the mountains. I'm gonna hop in my pop-up and take a little shower. <laughs> the really cool thing, and I didn't know this or realize this, but when I went to the bathroom a few times in there, um, it's hot in there because it's black and it absorbed the heat. I walked in there and it was like a sauna and I'm like, what? I didn't even like think of that because it's black. It's kind of like when I was talking about the weather tech, you know, put the black on the outside to absorb the heat. That's what's going on there. So let's go shower. All right, let's shower. <laughs> Crazy woman. All right. Hold on. I'm going to leave outside. And she's gone. All right, you guys. I am in my pajamas. That shower was so good. Okay, so we didn't warm any of the water up. We just like left, we just had like whatever water was in there. And I'm like, okay, it was a little chilly. We could have totally warmed it up, but we're like, eh, I'm just gonna go with it. And once I like got myself wet, I like, my body warmed up to it. And the tent is like warm in there, you guys. Like it's crazy. So I got my body wet. I put soap all over it. And then I just quickly rinsed it off. And I had a complete shower, except I haven't done my face yet. So I'm gonna do that separate because it was kind of weird with the hose. I didn't really want to get like my hair wet. So I'm gonna just use like our water jug here to like wash my face and get off all my makeup. But I feel fresh and clean here in <laughs> the mountains. Here is how much water was left. That thing was completely full when I showered. I used about half of this. This is a two gallon tank and I used just under one gallon. Pretty cool, one gallon shower right there.
So we got our little campfire put together. Um, we did check before we came here. There are no fire bans in place. That's been a very important thing going on here in Colorado. And thankfully, as of August 10th, um, we're all lifted because we've had a lot of rain and moisture and stuff, so. Whoa. Dang. <laughs> it is like I think about 8 30 we're gonna crawl in it's starting to get dark out and Vince is already snuggled in <laughs> it is clear so we're hoping some stars pop up because we have the moon roof open so hopefully we can do a little stargazing so we are in here it's pretty tight it is it's not warm. there's a view in the back good night good night <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow okay it is 12 30 at night there's something right outside our SUV scratching do you hear that? Vince is going to start the jeep right now to try and scare whatever it is away. Do you see anything? Can't see. It's... I don't know what it is. Should I start it? Yeah. <laughs> Honey. What was it? I have no idea. <laughs> now we set the alarms off. And now our Jeep don't start. Yeah, it does. It just it's because it was locked and we're in it. Oh, okay, never mind. We're fine. <laughs> so the Jeep. Yeah, we don't know what that was. We set the alarms off. Did you, you didn't see anything? No. We think it, it sounded like a, I don't think it was a bear. No. Because it was like a really small scratching sound. It's probably like a coon, we're assuming. There's nothing out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nothing out there. He looked and everything is still fine. Um, but there was definitely some type of varmint out there scratching. But well, we set the car alarm off accidentally, so he's probably really far away now. <laughs> yeah, so now that we've uh, lit up the the mountaintop here with our car alarm, there's probably not going to be any more issues. <laughs> Good morning! We made it through our first night. We didn't have any bear attacks on the SUV. We don't know what was it. <laughs> <laughs> going on at you know 12 30 last night um but i think we think it was probably something small like a cleaner or something because it didn't sound big um but it was just it was scratching i don't know i don't know i don't see footprints so i'm not sure but um we got a little bit of everything last night we got critters then at four o'clock thunder rolled in no rain it just thundered and now it's 6 30 as we got up it's super windy the chairs are full. <laughs> and we have all the intentions of making breakfast this morning, but it's really cold and it's extremely windy. Like we can't keep our chairs up and we're only an hour and a half from home <laughs> and it's only 6.30 in the old morning. So I'm kind of, kind of thinking we're going to go home for breakfast because <laughs> we're not, we weren't planning to stay any longer anyways. Today we were going to get up, make breakfast and go home. Um, but I think we might just cancel the breakfast thing. <laughs> the mountains are brutal. Yeah, that's the mountains right there. You just never know. But overall, um, we didn't sleep the best. It took a while to like get warm in the Jeep. And then it was like the critter came and then I was like paranoid. And then I couldn't sleep very well. Cause like, even though we had a noise machine and we we're in an SUV, we knew we wouldn't be getting attacked by anything. Um, it was just still like, oh my God. 
freaking out. And then four o'clock, thunder rolled in, and then it was super cozy in there. We stayed warm. Like once we warmed up, it was warm in there. It was pretty tight though. It was pretty tight. We were snuggling. So if every time he moved, you know, like I totally felt it, and it was that. But it was our first time, so um, we're definitely. It's not our last time. We're definitely gonna do this again. But it has reconfirmed why we will never tent in our life, <laughs> like ever. That critter that was outside our SUV. Imagine if you were in a tent. Oh my God, it was so loud. And then this wind and the thunder. Oh my God, no way. I feel so bad for all those tenters up there. Like, I don't even know. I don't know. But anyways, to each their own, right? <laughs> but we're gonna clean up camp now. I think we're gonna head home and make our breakfast. All right, camp is cleaned up. The Jeep is full. And it's still really windy and cold. There's like dust flying off this road like right into our campsite. It's so bad. So yeah, we're adios. <laughs> Here's our camping meal we were making this morning. We're even using our camping bowls. Like we're still trying to envision us being camping right now because we're so sad we had to leave because it was so, so windy and dust flying everywhere. So this is the exact breakfast we were gonna make. <laughs> using our camping coffee pot Jeez. we're doing all the things we're gonna have peaches we're gonna have muffins like it's like we're camping kind of not as cool though because we don't have amazing views like we're really bummed we're not there right now thank you so much for watching our very first suv camping experience here and it was really fun in all like we had a blast like it was everything went really really well we found a really nice campsite that was free um the bathroom situation the so shower situation cooking all that went really well it was just the whole uh nighttime situation that got a little little uh scary with critters and what but again that's why we are camping in an suv and not a tent because that was exactly why. <laughs> but we're definitely already looking forward to our next little SUV camping adventure. If you do have any questions, definitely let me know below. Um, I'm happy to answer anything. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future vlogs. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.